What's going on everyone? SVT Zach here. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to look at replacing this um, radio delete panel. So I kind of had this urge recently to start turning my car into appearing like, like a 95 Cobra R. Um, and I mean, I'm, I've got pretty much the basic stuff down. I mean, this is uh saddle here and this need like the top half of this door needs to be black um and obviously it's got power windows power locks but uh i've you know deleted the radio and stuff um so kind of been thinking about redoing the interior a little bit i i like this you know i like the um buffalo plaid but i'm thinking about redoing this stuff um honestly i might just delete the center console um, I've been looking at getting new carpet, um, kind of wanting to go with black and, uh, it doesn't come pre-cut. So I could literally custom, customize something here to where the carpet doesn't have a, you know, big hole in it for the shifter, um, or like a hole in it for some of this other stuff. So, um, anyways, though. I got this plate from J John Smith Racing, same place I got this plate for the uh, steering wheel um, or the steering column there, but I don't really like the screws. I just think that's gaudy looking, um, kind of cheap looking. And then if you look real close, you can see like the lines in the plastic. Um, so what I did, I'll show you. I went on Amazon and I just looked for, I searched like, interior plastic um and i'll show you what i got um i got this and so this is the front side this is the back side um but it was like six bucks for a little 12 by 12 sheet and i just figured what the heck i'll uh i'll try to trace out that other delete onto here cut it out and just see how this looks i'm you know i might try to glue it so that there's no screws or anything so that's going to be today's project all right, so guys, I got the uh, bracket off. You can kind of see how they tie it in there. They just screw this in and then these latch on just to keep it from moving. Um, I've got it on here. I clamped it on here on my workbench. Traced it with a Sharpie. Um, so just something you could see. This, I mean, it was good enough to where I could see the lines. Um, and I'm actually going to use these sh uh, sheet metal shears, which is, these have come in handy on a lot of stuff. Um, and they cut through anything. <clears throat> they make any kind of material really look like butter um, but I'm gonna cut this you can see I already got the corner cut which looks pretty good I'm gonna cut the rest of it out and uh, see how it goes all right guys so there she is um, not like perfectly straight but it's good enough to where once I put it in there you're not even gonna notice so let's go test fit it see how it looks um, did scratch the back a little bit because I was gonna try to see if I could get the back to look or go in and see if the back would look better in here. <clears throat> but uh, let's see. Doesn't look too bad. The one thing that kind of sucks is that I just think it's it's such a tight fit that it gets stuck in there. <laughs> you gotta kind of hang on once. All right, sorry about that. I had to reach around in there and get that unstuck. So here, it's actually tight enough to where that will stay in there. So that worked out perfectly. It's, it's kind of loose, but that doesn't look too bad, does it? I think that's pretty good, actually. The lens off a little bit there, but definitely better than six screws looking at you. So. That was today's little short project. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll link the plastic that I bought off Amazon in the description um, so that you guys, if you guys want to do the same thing, you can click it. And I think I might try to get this one here um, next. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.